Hello dear students, hope you are doing good. Welcome to YouTube channel Learn with Gizla. In this video, we shall take up two questions in which the difference between simple interest and compound interest is given to us along with the rate of interest per annum and time period. And we have to find the sum that is the principal. Now formula of simple interest is SI is equal to P into R into T upon 100 where SI stands for simple interest, P is the principal, R is the rate of interest per annum, T is the time period. Now formula of compound interest, we can have two methods to calculate it. Either we can calculate amount first and then compound interest or we can have a direct formula of compound interest. So amount formula is A is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N followed by CI is equal to A minus P. That means once we get the amount, we can find the difference between amount and principal to get compound interest. Now over here A is the amount, CI is the compound interest, N is the number of years. Now the direct formula of compound interest is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raised to power n minus 1. Since we are given the difference between compound interest and simple interest in these two questions, so we can use the direct formula of compound interest. Now let's start with the first question. It is given the difference between the compound interest and simple interest on a certain sum of money at 6 2 by 3 percent per annum for 3 years is rupees 46 find the sum sum means principal so basically we are given the difference between compound interest and simple interest that is rupees 46 rate of percent is 6 2 by 3 percent per annum and time period is 3 years and we have to find the sum that is principal so let's start with the solution first of all let us write what is given to us so ci minus si is equal to rupees 46 Rate of interest is 6, 2 by 3 percent per annum, which is equal to 20 by 3 percent per annum. 6 into 3 is 18 plus 2 is 20. So we have written 20 by 3 percent per annum. Now time period is 3 years and we have to find the sum that is principal. We shall apply the formula of simple interest first. So simple interest is equal to P into R into T upon 100. Now further we shall put the values. So SI is equal to P into R rate of interest that is 20 by 3, 3 will come in the denominator into 3 that is the time period and also in the denominator we have already have 100. Now 20 and 100 will get cancelled and we shall get 5 for the 3 and 3 will also get cancelled and we shall get the simple interest in terms of P that is P by 5. So this is the simple interest. Now further we shall apply compound interest formula that is CI is equal to P in bracket 1 plus R upon 100 whole raised to power N minus 1. Now we shall put the values. So P in bracket 1 plus 20 by 3 into 100 whole raised to power 3 minus 1. Now further 20 and 100 will stand cancel. We shall get 5. 3 into 5 is 15. So accordingly we shall write P in bracket 1 plus 1 upon 15 whole raised to power 3 minus 1. Now further we shall solve the bracket first that is we shall take LCM. So we shall write P in bracket 16 by 15 whole raised to power 3 minus 1. Now 16 cube is 4096 and 15 cube is 3375. So accordingly we shall write P in bracket 4096 upon 3375 minus 1. Now further we shall take LCM. So we shall write P in bracket 4096 minus 3375 upon 3375. Further, 4096 minus 3375 is 721. So we shall write P in bracket 721 upon 3375. So we have got the compound interest in terms of P, that is principal, as 721P upon 3375. Now the difference between compound interest and simple interest is given to us rupees 46. Compound interest we have calculated in terms of principal that has come 721p upon 3375 and simple interest is also calculated in terms of principal that is p by 5. Now we will start with the equation of difference that is ci minus si is equal to 46. 
further we shall put the values of compound interest and simple interest in this equation so accordingly we shall write 721p upon 3375 minus p by 5 is equal to 46 now we shall take lcm so 3375 and 5 the lcm is 3375 now p by 5 will be multiplied by 675 because 3375 divided by 5 is 675 so accordingly we shall write 721p minus 675p upon 3375 is equal to 46 now the difference between 721 and 675 is 46 so we shall write 46 p upon 3375 is equal to 46 now further p is equal to 46 into 3375 upon 46 we have just cross multiplied because we had to find the p that is principal now further 46 and 46 will stand cancel and we shall get the principal as rupees 3375 that is our sum and that is our final answer let's take up second question the difference between the compound interest and the simple interest on a certain sum of money at 15 percent per annum for three years is rupees 283.50 find the sum so just like previous question in this question also we are given the difference between the compound interest and simple interest that is rupees 283.50 we have to find a certain sum of money on which we are getting 15 percent per annum rate of interest and for three years so that sum that means that principle we have to find rate of interest is 15 percent and time period is three years so now let's start with the solution so given to us is the difference between ci and si that is rupees 283.50 rate of interest is 15 percent per annum time period is three years and we have to find the sum that is the principal first of all let us apply the simple interest formula that is uh, si is equal to p into r into t upon 100 further we shall put the values so we shall write si is equal to p into 15 that is the rate of interest into 3 that is the time period upon 100 now 15 and 100 will be divided by 5 so when we'll divide 15 we'll get 3 when we'll divide 100 we shall get 20 now 3 into 3 is 9 so si that is simple interest we shall get in terms of principal we shall get 9p upon 20 that is our simple interest now to find the compound interest in terms of principal we shall apply the compound interest formula that is ci is equal to p in bracket 1 plus r upon 100 whole raise to power n minus 1 now further we shall put the values so we shall write p that we have to calculate in bracket 1 plus r percent is 15 percent so 15 by 100 whole raised to power n that is 3 that is the time period minus 1 now further we shall divide 15 and 100 by 5 and we shall get 3 and 20 respectively in the numerator as well as denominator so accordingly we shall write p in bracket 1 plus 3 by 20 whole cube minus 1 now we shall solve the bracket by taking lcm so we shall write p in bracket 23 by 20 whole cube minus 1 now 23 cube is 12167 and 20 cube is 8000 so accordingly we shall write p in bracket 12167 upon 8000 minus 1 now further we shall take lcm so we shall write p in bracket 12167 minus 8000 upon 8000 and further when we will solve it we shall get p in bracket 4167 upon 8000 so this is our compound interest that is 4167 p upon 8000 in terms of principal now the difference between compound interest and simple interest is given to us rupees 283.50 we have calculated compound interest in terms of p that is 4167 p upon 8000 and also we have calculated simple interest in terms of p that is 9 p upon 20 now we shall start with the equation of the difference 
that is ci minus si is equal to rupees 283.50. Now we shall put the value of compound interest and simple interest in terms of p in this equation. So accordingly we shall write 4167p upon 8000 minus 9p upon 20 is equal to 283.50. So this is the equation in terms of p which we need to solve. Further, we shall take LCM of 8020, which is 8000. Now, accordingly, we shall write 4167P minus, now see, 8000 will get divided by 20, we will get 400. So, 400 has to be multiplied to numerator and denominator to equalize the denominators. So, 400 into 9, we shall get 3600. So, accordingly, we have written 4167P minus 3600P upon 8000 is equal to 283.50. Now the difference is 567. So we shall write 567p upon 8000 is equal to 283.50. Now we shall cross multiply because we have to find the value of p. So p is equal to 283.50 into 8000 upon 567. Now let us simplify it. First of all let us remove the decimal point so two places of decimal are there. So we shall remove it and write 100 in the denominator. Further, we shall write P is equal to 28350 into 8000 upon 567 into 100. Now two zeros of 8000 and two zeros of 100 will stand cancel. Further, 28350 will be divided by 567 and you will get 50. So 50 into 80, you will get 4000. So 4000 is our principal that is the sum which we had to calculate in this question. So hope you have understood these questions and the various steps which were involved in it in finding the sum when the difference between the compound interest and simple interest is given to us. Please do like and subscribe my channel. Thank you everyone. Have a good day.